Hello and welcome to Dungeon Inn. Today we're uh, we're building an inn. There's a dungeon nearby. This is by Cat Society, published by Spiral Up Games, who are sponsoring this video. This is out now over on Steam in early access. There's a link down below and you can check it out. Uh, so yeah, obviously there's an inn. Uh, there's a dungeon nearby. Our job is to build this inn. However, the uh, the adventurers that are going to take out that dungeon are from two uh, opposing guilds. So our job is to build an inn and serve both those guilds without them intermingling. Yeah, let's try it out. Uh, we can go in casual mode, courageous mode. We are not courageous. We are casual. Let's get an intro story here. Intros these days, just so wordy. Something on your mind, says Butter the Cat. You got that look on your face. Uh, it's nothing. Time to open the shop. Just seems too risky. But think about it, we're fine as long as no one catches on. The inn right in front of the dungeon? One's last opportunity to gear up before delving into those dangerous depths? How could any adventurer pass it up? does seem intriguing. However, I'm pretty sure there's a reason no one's ever done it before, says Bammy the cat with a monocle. I suppose the adventurers run into each other outside the inn. Then what? If they find out we're working both sides, it'll be the end of us. We gotta do uh, what, what we gotta do so we do what we gotta do to make sure that doesn't happen, says Sarah. It'll all work out in the end. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. Also, if it weren't for Sarah, there never would have been a contract to begin with. You're not wrong. Did I just forget the contract and make a run for it? Don't sweat it. I'm sure we can pull it off. There's no way anyone's going to catch us catch on during the first month. Besides, we won't have the many guests right from the get-go, so it's worth a shot. We may make a killing out here. Yeah, we got to go pay that dragon off. Okay. I did play the demo of this uh, about a year ago or so. And, and I remember checking out this demo. It, it's an intriguing game. It is certainly different. Um... It's not like something you've probably played before. Uh, our goal today is we got the seaside folk. We got to get eight of them in our in our inn. We got the mountain folk. We got to get eight of them in our inn as well. But remember, they can't meet. And also, don't let them meet. Otherwise, they fight. And uh, we don't want a bloody porch. Uh, this is bad, right? They might start fighting as soon as we get as soon as we open the inn. It'll be fine as long as uh, it doesn't look like both sides are looking to stay here. Uh, we should put up a sign. So they're all walking by. They don't know that we're an inn until you have a sign. So we're going to go out and build ourselves a sign. We have a, a sign board right there we can put out. We have four actions we can do each turn. Uh, these guys are walking by. We've got, for instance, we got Lucky the Adventurer. Uh, we got Jack. And we got Lana the, Lana the Frog. These are the seaside folks. These over here are the mountain folks. They're all just going to walk south. Our job is to put a sign out, like there. And so they see the sign, and so they say, Oh, there's a sign. I guess I got to go to the inn. So once the decisions are finalized, these three, these two are going to make their way inside the end. The last guy's going to go and stop right there. Once he gets there, he'll see the sign. In they go. So next turn, he'll come in. Uh, we do have a dormitory. We can actually see inside this inn and adjust things in there. We'll get there in a second. Uh, we'll, how will we know if an adventurer wants to come in or not? A sixth sense. Yeah, 
yeah, this is the money. If they have a, a bed symbol by their heads, that means they're considering staying in the inn. They leave after one day. Each lodge can accommodate de uh, guests based on the number of beds. Right. Let's just see what happens. Okay. We can see the inn right here. So we've got, uh, these are the sea the seaside wing and the mountain wing. Dormitory, cafe, inside. Of course, we're going to be adding more things in here as, as time goes on. And there's our events. Okay. There goes Frogman. He's staying in the end. And money be flying. Best results, cleanliness and inspections are a must. Also can't use the signboard right away. Right, signboard gets dirty. And the last thing you want is a dirty sign. So we got to basically wait for the sign to get cleaned up. But we got a food stall ready. And so we can use the food stall to sell food to folks that are just sort of walking by. Something like, well, right there, I guess. So all four of them, they see that food sign, so they're going to stop off, they're going to drop off ten gold, and go on their way. Probably take some food along with it. I think you just want me to, uh, just the one? Yeah. There you go. Pick up some snacks. We got some cash. Okay. What do we need to do? The inn is now open. Probably start by receiving guests. We need a minimum of eight guests on each side. Don't let them figure out what we're up to. Right. Nothing's more important than keeping this under wraps. And then there's our goals. We know our goals. So we place the signboard on the road that, uh, for the Mountain Guild adventurers. And there's more adventurers on the Seaside Guild, but we don't have out of beds. So we gotta put it on the mountain side. These guys, uh, well, we got we put a sign right there, and then they will pop on in. No adventurers, I guess. No adventurers. There's a quick learning adventure of me. So basically, they can all stay in the inn, right? We've got mountain folks in there. we got seaside folks in there. They can stay in the inn. we got walls. They just can't mingle outside the inn. As long as they don't mingle outside, we're fine. So a day is four turns. After four days, when a day when the day passes, the guest will take, out, take off. Earning money is important, period. It's also crucial to, to spread the name of Dungeon Inn as your fame increases. More adventures will visit the inn, and the, uh, the events and events that benefit your inn's operation will... Nice. They check out. Luckily, they check out the s on the side exit. Energy drink. What for? We need to take the signboard down soon. Why? Adventurers who drink these will be able to move faster and go further, right? That means more of them will get to see the signboard while it's up. In turn, means more adventurers will come to the inn. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Adventurers affected by the energy drink will gain... Yeah, yeah, okay. Get a little faster. Near the signboard. Okay. Right there. So now they will walk faster. Just like just like hotels in real life. You put out a, a, a Red Bull stand and then they come charging in. Next. I should check out. Yeah, you should go check out this inn. You sure, you sure should. Uh, a lucky wheel. I'm really good at spinning these things. What's this for? Okay, maybe we can keep the adventurers distracted. We might be able to buy ourselves some time. We have something we can give out as a prize. We have a lot of stuff in stores, loads of inventory. We can't just give all that away. We go broke. If we make it big here, or we won't need it anymore. Butter? Butter? Doesn't make sense, doesn't it? I say we go all in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The spinny wheel, the lucky wheel. Yes. So when the lucky wheel's in place, it's going to stop them. They will stop and not. We can kind of herd them up. So we put the lucky wheel in. I think we want to put it in over here. To kind of like stop these fellas. I think. Okay. So then whenever that sign is ready to go tomorrow, we can put it in there and we'll get people inside of our place. Like that. So they'll stop by the wheel, then they'll, they'll stop on in. Uh, we do have a food stall, so I guess we might as well. Like, it doesn't matter where it goes. It reduces people speed, so they're going a little slower. There's only... Uh, I think if I put it there, I'll get I'll get those two at least. I guess I could have put it there and maybe gotten... I don't know. Maybe I put the... I don't know, that's fine. Oh, they, they, they stopped there, don't they? So now we're going to have like a whole surge of them coming in. I only have four beds. Yeah. All right. Speed increase. I don't need the energy drink just yet. We're just trying to get people in the inn. Three more of these guys. Five. Five. No. 
five more of these. Well, I got five. We don't have bits. Okay. Okay, making some cash. Day three. Okay, see, so they're all sea, sea folks. I don't really want anyone walking faster yet. I don't think. Next turn, I'll be able to put that signboard out, though. So maybe I can do something like... Like, speed them up so the next one I can get them moving in. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need a reason for it yet, so we'll hold off. What are all those notes for? You're writing a book? Just all the things that happened so far. All right. Wait, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> autosave. Thanks. Okay, so now we can put this over here. We don't want to meet, though. We got one more guy coming in. That ain't gonna be good. So I say we we got two spots available. Is that and you're going in? So that's gonna be all of us? That'll be everyone, I think. So we do it over here, but we've got to wait a turn before we do that. What we could do is we could like line them up. Like get them ready to go. Like that. Um So they're itching to get in get into the to the inn. So there's our eight seaside folk. All right. Coffee smells really good. I know, right? I mean, uh, I mean, I look at, but we use high quality coffee grounds. Interesting. The inn may sometimes use amenities like the cafe. Each time an adventurer uses a facility, additional income. Settled at checkout. So yeah, we got an inn, uh, an inn over here, and old Sadie's using it. Okay, so now, uh, we don't need to get this site. We gotta get people into the place. And we got a food stall. We might as well put a food stall over here. And I think we can speed them up. Oh, I'm out of wisps. Okay. Okay, and those guys, they're all gonna go inside. We'll be in good shape. Uh, I'll go ahead and speed up. I don't know who's gonna speed up. Maybe, uh... Eh, doesn't do much. Doesn't do much. Not quite enough to get to there. Okay, and a little extra coffee cash. We need one more, one more uh, Mountain Dude. Ventures are categorized uh, categorized by novice, expert, and master. Higher the rank. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the rank of the adventurers visiting your inn, the more benefits they will bring, whether it's money or fame. Are you someone fancy? Is that what you're trying to say? Crimson Fist? How do I see your, uh... You are an expert. Oh, look at you. Are you anything fancy? You're a novice. Novice. Well, we're gonna be filled up as soon as this is over. Okay, we won the tutorial. Excellent. I guess we still got a week to go. We could maybe get um, some prestige from, from this fella. Or somebody. And get in there. I like prestige. Prestige is all right. Do I have any space in here? Yeah, I got two. I got room for two. He's already having a snack and stomping around. Um, this doesn't... Does this slow you down? It slows you down by one. You guys are already going in. I could stop by. That's 30 bucks I could get. They're already going to make it in there. Maybe they won't. Won't you charge it in there? Get your drink. Buy your food. G get in there. Okay. The, uh, the legendary guy didn't, didn't make it in there. But now we're full up. But he's, he, he's in there. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit of fame. Okay, we've already been nearly a week. Let's try getting as many guests as we can. Already, already doing it. I'm going to see if I can slow you guys down. 
So then this, when this sign's done, we can pop it up over here and grab some on this side. Let's see if this works out right. I want everyone over here to charge in. Not sure where I went. I think if I put it behind her, she won't make it. I want to make sure she makes it in. There we go. So he's playing with a spinny wheel. Um, I'll pick up some cash, some um, food cash. Okay, last turn. Let's go ahead and get these guys in. No one's hanging out at the front, so it should be okay. Okay. No fighting. We made it. There we go. Week one, another successful week. I don't know if another week one work goes together. Whatever. Good job, Butter. Looks like we made it through the first week. I was so scared that a fight would break out. I told you it all worked out. I have to say, dude, pretty all right, considering we're barely prepared to anything. Hence, Wispy. Take a note of all our achievements, both big and small, right? That being said, with a bit more support, we might be able to boost our sales. Maybe we could talk a bit later. So we're getting a bit more support. What do you think we need? How about more rooms? We could have more guests that way. I say we add a pub. Pubs and inns go well together. Uh, let's do both. If we do as Bammy says, we'll be able to accommodate more debt, more guests. And as Butter says, we can get the attention of more adventurers. That means more money. And add a regular pub to the lodges of the Sea and Mountain Guilds and a standard room as well. Okay. As we progress, we'll get more installations. So, we'll go to manage my inn. Okay, need fame for all that. So, we want to add a dormitory in. Um, menu recommendation. So, there's a standard room. We can add it. Okay, so we've got these two. We can add a standard room or a pub. How much do these cost? So we expected to give us 23 more. Yeah, that seems all right. Yeah, expand that one. I'm out of tokens, so I can only do that on both sides. But I can do the the bedroom on that side and the pub on this side. Okay, that works. Okay, next. The talks go. For now, we've secured space for a room and a pub. One of each. Start of the business, so we should be thankful we've come this far. Be sure to attract more investment once our inn starts performing better and building a name for itself. Let's go make some money. Alright. Our job is eight visitors. Eight visitors. Uh, we'll have to send it to him, the dragon. The feel of money in hand is always nice. We get some rewards for having 450 bucks and don't let them run into each other. Okay. There's only oh, there's any way of avoiding fights this time. What do we do? Never too late to make a run for it. It's time you need I can buy more than enough. I got it. Make up your mind? Uh-huh. Let the fight happen. What are you talking about? We got some gear in storage, right? Well, that settles it. I can't fight. We're going to sell it to him. Yeah, yeah, we should have run away. So we're going to go. We want to do the... Um, do we want to let him fight? Is that what it's in? I was going to stop him because I can put this wheel up and stop him. But okay, if they want to fight, I'll let them fight. Um, okay. What's the plan? Tell me now. I can buy you enough time to make a run for it. Wisp, it's part of your contract to protect us. She, uh, can you lend us a hand? You'd suffer losses too if we were to put out of business. It's okay, Butter. We still have a long way to go. I just can't just keep waiting for you to help every time. We need to find a sustainable and reliable way. Battle continues until all adventures on one side are defeated. Okay. 
Adventurers who end up with, in battle with, uh, will begin to suspect the inn of double dealing. If the inn helps one side, the adventurers will receive the help will drop their suspicions about the inn. But the opposing adventurers will become certain of the inn's intentions. Can I use guards in combat? Armed Wisp will participate in battle, aiding the selected faction. If you decide to help someone, you can ensure their victory. Helping the weaker side can, uh, can bring greater rewards than assisting the stronger side, but they will be... Uh, simply observing without helping is also an option. Okay. Once it ends, the story of the fight that took place in front of the end will spread amongst the victorious guild's adventurers. It might lead to some trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna... Well, you will put them over here by... My, by uh, that's my suspicion meter. We'll put them over here. Did we win? Yay! Look at them go. That's a good idea. What do you mean? Obviously, we're favoring one side. What if somebody sees that? Like who? The other side. Dead men tell no tales. Let's hurry and clean this up before the adventurers see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't get caught. Yeah. Okay, depending on the outcome, we're gonna, our suspicion meter is going to go uh, rising, like it is right now with the mountain folk. Okay, uh, well, let's go ahead and get... We got more rooms on this side. Let's go ahead and get them in the rooms. I want to make sure they are running fast. Get, I'm going to scurry into those rooms. Um, we got, what, three over there? Two more coming in. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, I'm out of wisps. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get the seaside taken care of first, and then we'll we'll just try to get some... This. Money this way from these guys. Oh, still no available wisps. I don't need that one. Okay, now we're doing all right. Uh, so now we can do this. Pick up a little bit of food that way. Um, I'm gonna save on the lucky wheel. I haven't. Like it's gonna be really helpful if if I'm scared of them running into each other. But other than that, I think it's. Not necessary right now. Okay, there's some money. Nobody Mountain Guild came in today. Any more signs? Flea Market is being held at the, uh, at the beach in Port City. A flea Market? Who's going to watch the inn if I go? Uh, uh -huh. Let's all go together some other time. Hold on, we could set up a stall to try and sell stuff. It'd be a good way to help promote the inn. I thought... We're going to be, like, helping them fight by bringing weapons out that way. Uh, but no, we actually send guards in. Events may occur. Yep. Flea market. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to buy and go in there. We got this sign. We could go do... Can I get this in time? We can get those four in. That's fine. So it spent a wisp, but I'm going to get a token and a bunch of cash. And the Seaside Guild are going to like me a lot. Okay, I don't need either of these yet, unless I want to slow them down and prepare, because the market's going to be here tomorrow. And I can really rake in the cash. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything there. Um, uh, lucky wheel. So we went, there's four, five. There's more on this side. So let's go ahead and do the wheel. We'll slow these guys down, and then we can let them in. And we'll put the market, the the food stall out. Okay, money. Adventurer gazing at the bottles on the display shelf strikes up a conversation. Anything stronger? There's no stronger liquid in the pub at the moment, but like we have some in the mansion storeroom of our own stock. Ask the Wisp for help. Costs us five gold. But the Mountain Guild will like us more. We can sneak some from Butter, which cost me uh, one of these guys. I'll spend, I think it's five gold. 
I got five gold. Yeah. Okay, so now we got a whole bunch over here. We want to definitely get the market on this side. I think maybe we go... One adventure on that side. Um, we need four more over here. So let's do this. Grab some snacks. And then do I want to get them inside in here? We want to work on these guys over here. We could finish up the Mountain Guild. Put the sign out. Stop by, get a snack, go in here. We can also put an energy drink in so we can make sure we get him in there quickly. I only have room for four though. Sure, we'll do it. They're out, so we can we can get the other four in. Some adventurers may use the inn just to use the facilities. The adventurers will always use the facilities and tip more. Okay, he's gonna come in. He's coming for the coffee shop. So I want to get these guys in and get and we want to get these over here as soon as we can. Okay, mountain gold done. Uh, I'm gonna stop these guys to make sure that we can get the sign up and get him inside actually you know what I think I'm gonna forget forget frog I want to put it there I think I do make sure we get him in no room for you then my sign can go here and get the rest of these guys in uh, word about the newly opened pub is spread among the mountain guild the adventurer known for his drinking visits the pub all right, Durin is here. Let's see what kind of beer they got. Uh, optional goals don't need to be completed. However, you can earn rewards for doing so. When a master adventurer stays at the end, some special events may occur. Yep. I can refuse him. Refuse him. What could go wrong? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's over there. And that's all we need. That's it. There he is, right there. The unexpected has happened. We tried to squeeze out a little extra profit, but now it looks like it cost us a little extra. Oh, he got all drunk and broke my stuff. I'll we'll make sure we catch this guy. This is the uh, the drunkard. We'll make sure we get him inside. This can hold six, so we'll bring these guys all in. I'm going to go ahead and put this, I think, here. I think we do it there. I might pick him up next. Yeah, we'll get him next turn. We could always speed him along if we need to. Sign's gonna be gone. I gotta. I don't know if I time that right. Okay, we got everything done except for the gold. Oh, we got the gold. We got everything. Okay, are you an adventurer? You're a novice. Okay, so now. Warning not issued is, is all about. I'm a little concerned. Don't get caught working both sides. Yeah. Um, they're going in. We're going to go... So they're gonna, not going to go too far. Go hit the drink. Push these guys up a little bit. We'll do better here. There we go. So then we can get them. We can get the Mountain Guild in shortly. I'm not sure why we would want to assist unless we just have suspicious problems. Suspicion problems. Then we can. Then we can deal with those. Okay, sign's gonna go right there. We can get all these guys inside, including Durin, who'll be the next turn. So happy. Okay, nice. And everyone, uh, the Mountain Guild likes us more. We got a Mountain Guild token. Uh, adventure visiting the cafe stares at the menu for a while before finally speaking. Okay. We got Durin here. 
your best beer you got. This is an opportunity to promote our inn. What beer should we serve them? We give them a lager, an ale, or a lambic. I don't know what a lambic is. We're going to do that one. Not sure what's good here. Get, recommend something. We can recommend coffee, tea, juice. With food proficiency, some seaside fame, which is nothing. This one also gives me... I'll take a uh, uh, juice. The juice is good. <laughs> Are we serving adventurers or kindergartners? Uh, let's get... Um, one, two, three, four. There are four on both sides. So we'll do the we'll do the market thing. I just missed these guys. Is that over there? Excellent. Beer is amazing. You like beer too, says the cat. I never say no to good beer. Have you tried the juice? The juice is pretty good. Okay, who do we want to let in? Who we got more room on the on the seaside, but there's not there's not six people. You guys are closer, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these guys. And I'm gonna try to speed speed them along here. Get him in. Get him in there. Um, maybe it's a good idea to like slow people down. I'm not gonna worry about it though. There you go. Those four are filled up. We didn't get the adventurer. Yeah, he's got no, no room for that guy. Can we kick someone out? Kick out the rookie? No. It's a worm. A lot of noise in the cafe. Oh, is someone breaking my juice cups? Well, the cups were broken, and then while the tables were being tables were being cleaned, the customers could get hurt. So it's probably a good idea to clean them up. Clean them up quickly. Level three, what? Later. Yeah, we'll do it quickly. It costs two of my my wisps. I don't really have any room. This is it. I can let the worm in. Well, anyway, worm. I grab a drink while you're coming in, worm. Is that a mistake? Is that? Oh yeah, I can make it if I do that. Okay. Right. Something bad happened. It's kind of difficult to make things bad. Bad things happen because I only got one sign. All right, the place is cleaned up. Worm pays me his five bucks. Another successful week. Yeah, that was a, quite a week. Thought it'd be boring, but it much, so much fun. You've only just begun. It doesn't bode well if you're already having a hard time. No kidding. I have a guest that came in even when we didn't have the sign up board. Sign board up. Sounds like the word is out about our inn. It's good to hear. Ask for more help? Wispy? Tribute target amount, maybe? Build a training room in the lodges of the Sea and Mountain Guilds. Okay. Right. So now we have a... We got what? We got seven and five, so now I can add in. So there's a training room for three. I can do both these. So the seaside is looking nice. Actually, I can't do the... I need to treat the Mountain Guild better. I think I'd rather have two more space, I think. This is less money, but it's going to be much more fame. I think I'd like money. I think I'm assuming I want early on. Okay. We can talk to our... We can look at the books. Oh, look, we can see everyone that's coming in here. Conversation log. And talk to the cat. You okay there, Sarah? There's a sleepy kitty. So sleepy, says poor butter. 
I'm getting bored now that I have fewer things to do. All right. Well, you know what? That's a good place to call it a day. This is Dungeon Inn. It is on Steam now in early access. There is links down below. Thank you, Spiral Up Games, for sponsoring this and Cat Society for making it. I hope everyone has a good one, and I will see you next time.